Hello and welcome to AI SaaS Zone. The SaaS landscape is changing rapidly. If you want to be successful and get your product to market, you can't afford to waste time on designing software architecture and managing infrastructure. You need to get something into the hands of users fast. And there's no better way to do this than to use no-code tools. In this video, I'll show you eight no-code tools that you can use to create a landing page, develop a web app, design a mobile app, and set up automation for your SaaS business. And the best part, you can do all of this without having to write a single line of code. So let's get started. In our journey to launch a SaaS startup swiftly, the first thing we need is a landing page. This is where we'll test our idea and get initial traction. And to create a great looking landing page fast, we're going to use a no code tool called Shuffle. Shuffle does things a little differently than other website builders. It doesn't offer hosting. Instead, you use Shuffle to quickly spin up a beautiful looking template, and then you export it to one of your frameworks of choice like Tailwind or Bootstrap. I've gotta say, I'm pretty blown away by it. It's lightweight, easy to use, and I can get a nice looking, pretty custom page started in minutes. Let me show you how it works. Using Shuffle is quite straightforward. It provides a ton of ready-made components that you can simply drag and drop into your layout. You can then adjust these components to suit your needs. The interface is really intuitive, making it easy to create a professional looking landing page in no time. All of that without writing a single line of code. How cool is that? Now that we have our landing page ready, let's move on to the next step developing our SaaS product. This might seem a bit more challenging without code, but there are some really amazing tools out there that make this possible. Let's start by taking a look at one of my favorites, Bubble. With Bubble, you can build almost anything you can imagine without having to code at all. It covers the entire stack, so you can build the front end, set up a database, and use workflows to build the actual business logic for your app. And the best part, it's all available in a visual interface. You can do programming, but without actually having to learn any languages or write code. For instance, you can choose what's going to happen when a user clicks a button. This could be creating or updating something in a database. You can even set up back-end workflows to handle tasks behind the scenes, like scheduling emails to go out or processing data. Bubble is a really cool tool, but I have to say the learning curve is pretty steep. It's just a natural consequence of using a tool that doesn't dramatically limit what you're able to do. But it's something to keep in mind before you start investing heavily in Bubble. Next, let's take a look at a tool that completely blew my mind when I first saw it, and that is Wised. Wised is a tool that allows you to build on top of your Webflow site, adding the ability to create logic and dynamic behavior. To get started with Wised, all you have to do is add a few script tags to your Webflow website. Now, you can set up Airtable to serve as your database with just a few clicks. With Wised, you can easily set up requests to load data from Airtable and display it as a list on your website. You can do some data manipulation, like filtering the list or limiting it to a specific number of rows and much more. The way they visually display the flow of execution and structures of the data reminds a lot of how things actually work when doing software development but it makes it very accessible for people with limited technical experience to manage. Just like with Bubble, you can add your own business logic. Here we have functions, keywords, operators, and variables, just like in real-world software development. With a few building blocks, we can almost build an endless variety of super cool software products. And as opposed to Bubble, Wised doesn't appear nearly as complicated when you first start out. It's way easier to build something and way faster to pick up how to carry out the different tasks in their app. It's a great decision to build this on top of Webflow. In this way, I can have my product hosted and online in a matter of minutes. Moving on from web app development, let's shift our focus to mobile app development. The first tool we're going to look at is called AppJiver. This one is not only for mobile apps, but for desktop apps and browsers as well. AppJiver is very easy to use. It's a bit like Shuffle and Versoli, but for mobile apps instead. You drag and drop, and you can easily get a nice looking app up and running. However, it's worth noting that AppGiver doesn't have a way of storing data as we saw with Bubble or Weist, so you'll have to create the backend in another tool using something like Zapier or Airtable. But when it comes to building the UI, the different views, navigation, and so on, AppGiver really does make it super easy for you. 
It's quite intuitive to set up UI logic by linking different events, and it comes with a lot of UI elements that support native behavior on the phone out of the box. If you need to, you can even add your own custom JavaScript as well, all without writing a single line of code. Unbelievable! But this app seems to be wrapped in some kind of web view, and it doesn't really feel that smooth and native on the phone. Now, let's talk about Flutterflow. If you're a developer, chances are that you've heard about Flutter, which is a framework for building cross-platform mobile apps, but it requires you to code. Flutterflow, which I assume is taking the name Inspiration from Webflow, is a no-code app builder which basically exports the code as a Flutter project. And it's actually really good. Just like some of the other tools, I can pick a quick template to get started from. Flutter is created by Google, so it'll work best using Google Cloud on the back end. For the database, you'll use Firebase, but Flutterflow actually makes this super easy to set up. So from here, we can simply start building the app by dragging elements into the view. A feature I really like is that it has inbuilt support for Lottie animations. If you're not familiar with Lottie, it's a library you can use in combination with After Effects to create some really smooth animations. Finally, let's take a look at automation. We want to have everything playing nicely together. And even if you're using a tool that can create the entire app and website, chances are that you still have some operational things that you want to automate. The tools people mention over and over are Zapier, If, Triple T, and Integromat, and they are great tools. But I want to cast some light on a few really cool alternatives. The first one is Pabbly. It's an upcoming tool and a more affordable alternative to Zapier. Pabbly is really cool. There's actually already a bunch of things you can now do with Pabbly that you can't do with Zapier. So for email marketing, automatic invoice creation, all the operational things you need to do in your company, you should really take a look at Pabbly. The last one I want to mention is Drona HQ. It's a tool you can use to build internal tools for your company. Here you get both a workflow builder like Zapier with a ton of integrations, but you can also build a UI on top of these workflows, which makes it easier to operate. Combining automated workflows with an actual tool you can open and operate is really cool. So with these tools, you can get your SaaS business started right away without having to write a single line of code. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this overview of no-code tools helpful. Remember, the key to a successful SaaS startup is to get your product to market quickly. And these tools can help you do just that. If you have any questions about these tools or if you want to share your own experiences with no-code tools, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to AI SaaS Zone for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.